everybody it's Julie here also known as Mrs England's Emporium welcome to my channel so this is gonna be a slightly different video to what I normally do I am gonna put out there some hopefully helpful tips to help everybody with the energy crisis situation that is heading our way and that is happening now it's very real um i want to just let you all know that there are things that you can possibly do to help you pay your bills and help you with you know the running of your life and everything else just a few tips that me and rob have done to help with us you know not getting stressed about bills and trying to make sure that everything is paid and on time but not paying ridiculous amounts of money now before i start this video i want to stress massively that i am not an expert on this you need to make sure that you look things up cover your own back talk to people that you need to talk to i.e your energy provider the Citizens Advice Bureau, anyone that you think can help you with this. So as always, if you find this video useful, if you give me a big thumbs up, that would be amazing. If you can subscribe, fantastic, that would be fab too. You can hit the bell for regular content. I usually do reselling content, so it's completely up to you about that. And um, if you'd like to support me further, you can buy me a coffee or leave super thanks and I will give you a shout out in a future video. Now I've got that out of the way. So basically, me and Rob, as everybody who is subscribed to me on here knows and regular viewers know, we are resellers. So we work from home, we work for ourselves, so we have not got a solid... Um, income that comes in constantly all the time so we cancelled our direct debit with our energy provider about two years ago and that doesn't mean that we don't pay our bills because we do but the basically what i'm saying is with the cost of living crisis happening i know that a lot of you have been having direct debits thrown sky high been sometimes double, triple what you normally pay, even more. And I know how worrying that can be. Our energy provider messages us every single month telling us to set up a direct debit, and we don't. Um, the last email I got off them telling us that they were going to put our direct debit payment up, that we haven't been paying because we don't pay that. Um, they wanted us to pay £240 a month for our gas and electric. I'm sorry that's not happening. Um, I'm going to show you now a little snippet that I've got off the Citizens Advice Bureau page that tells you that you do not have to pay the estimate, you only have to pay what you owe. Now, as a, again, I stress that every company can be different. You sign a contract when you sign up to an energy provider. So you must check your contract, check with the energy provider, check with Citizens Advice, whoever you need to go to, to make sure that it's OK for you to do this. I'm not going to say what company we're with because I don't want to go and make everybody that's with that company go do the same thing because then it might come back on me in a bad way and I don't want that. But what I'm saying is check first, cover your back. So what we do is we have cancelled our direct debit, which we did two years ago before any of this even happened just because of our situation and we didn't want to have that big bill hanging over our head. As long as we pay it by the end of the month, it's not a problem. It doesn't go against your credit rating if you cancel your direct debit, as long as you pay it within the same month that you get the bill. That is my understanding of it. And even if they send you a bill, I think you've got 30 days to pay that bill. Otherwise, then it can go on your credit rating and it can make, obviously, your credit score come down. And also then they can send it off to um, debt collecting agencies, bailiffs, things like that. So you don't want that to happen. 
what me and Rob do is every single month we do our bills online. So I can go online to my energy provider, I check how much we owe and then I pay that amount that we owe by the end of the month. I do not pay the estimate. I don't care about the bills going up. I mean, this year it's going to be irrelevant anyway because we are going to hardly be using our gas with what is going on. We are going to be heating the person, not the home. That is what Martin Lewis has said to everybody. Heat yourselves, put on more clothes, drink warm drinks, eat warm foods, make sure you are okay. Now, obviously we have children, so we will be putting our gas on for an hour at night and an hour in the morning before they get up to make sure the house is warm for when they get out of bed. Apart from that, it's not going to be on. Um, and that is just us really rebelling against everything what's going on. Obviously, you've got to think about your pipes as well. So if it does drop below freezing outside, you need to make sure you're not turning your gas off completely because then your pipes can burst when you put it back on. So you've got to bear that in mind. I need to look into, and if anyone knows this, it'd be great, stick it in the comments, please. And um, what sort of temperature you should leave your thermostat at so the heating kicks on, clicks on when it goes below freezing outside so your pipes stay warm. I need to look into that. And it's something that I think you should look into too, just to protect your house. So what I do is I got in contact with my energy provider and I found out when they need meter readings by to calculate my bill every month. They were estimating our bill at one point and it was way more than it was supposed to be. So I rang them and found out that they need the meter readings by whatever day it is. I set a reminder in my phone. If you're not as technical as that, you can put it on your calendar, whatever, send in your meter readings, whether you have to telephone them, email them, do it on the website, whatever means you can do it. So we send in our meter readings every month on a certain date and then they calculate our bill and we get sent a bill online. They ask us to reinstate our direct debit every month. The funny thing was I was going to do it because we were doing better and I thought, OK, we'll do that, then we can forget about it. And that was when I realised they wanted us to pay £240 a month. I will get to what we actually pay in a moment. Bearing in mind that at the moment we are not using our heating at all. We use our gas to heat the water when we have baths. We use it when we obviously wash our hands with the hot water tap and do the washing up and also for cooking on the gas cooker downstairs. They're the only times we use it. Um, yeah, so I basically send in the meter readings, we get a bill and then we pay it. That's all you need to do. You've seen it on the little snippet I've just put on. So you do not have to pay the estimate. The estimate is supposed to be to cover you for winter so you don't have to pay the same amount. You don't have to pay more, sorry, over the winter months. But I think anybody who's anybody at the minute is going to be tightening their belts anyway. So I don't think it's, I don't think we need to be spending £240 a month on gas and electric every single month when at the moment we pay around £90 a month because I'm doing it this way. It will go up because it's going to go up in October and there's all these people that are doing the don't pay your bill, cancel your direct debit thing. I urge you, if you're going to do that, look into it first. I've seen so much stuff about it. People saying that you should just blindly cancel your direct debit and not pay your bill and everyone should do it. That will be catastrophic for people more than paying their bill, I think. I, in my opinion, that will be giving bad credit to everybody. It will be stressful because you've got a bill hanging over your head. They can cut off your supply and you will have bailiffs knocking at your door and everything else. I have seen some information about if you open a complaint with your energy company, then you can cancel your direct debit and not pay your bill and they can't do any of that. But I don't know whether that is fact. So look into it again. I know some of you won't be able to pay your bills. If you can't, get help. Ring the energy companies, ask them to help you. They have to help you. They have to send you to someone that will help you manage money and everything else. So rather than not paying the bill and ha hanging your head, you know, putting your head in the sand, whatever you want to say, do that. 
um once you get a bill through you have 30 days to pay it before any of that sort of stuff happens um but like i say if you have trouble paying your bills try to get in contact with them and find out what they can do to help you let them know your situation but that is what we do we have also started to we used to all be we we're so wasteful before all this happened i had heating on 24 7 not even joking the thermostat controlled when it clicked on and off so we had it on a permanent 19 20 degree and it would click on and off all year round um, in the summer, obviously, I turned it off when it's hot, but I mean autumn, winter, spring. And we would all have baths so many times a week, fill the bath right to the top. Um, there's just all these things that we used to do that are, we're not doing anymore. The heating is off permanently at the moment, which it's going to be because it's boiling. We'll see how we go with that when the weather turns. Washing, I used to have a dryer to dry my washing throughout the winter. That has gone and I now have an airer that I will have in the kitchen near the back door. At the moment, I am hanging washing out in my garden whenever I can. And again, I know for some of you that is not possible for whatever reason. But trying to hang washing around your house to get it dry with the windows a little bit open so there's a breeze coming in. Better than using a dryer at the moment. Better than hanging things on your radiator. Which you probably shouldn't do anyway because of condensation. But that's a whole other issue. Um, when we have baths now, we, we've limited our baths. I know it sounds disgusting, but I've, I've been more... We've got a shower, but we haven't got a proper shower. It's one of those that you can click off and use in the bath. Um, it is actually up on the wall, but we haven't got a shower curtain. So what I've been doing is I've been having washes in between baths and I've been having only half the bath water. And obviously half the bath water isn't just all hot either. So we've just had our, we're on a water meter as well, which adds even more insult to injury. But we've shaved £30 a month off our direct debit doing that. And obviously it's less gas because the water isn't being heated for the same amount of time. So there's things you can do. There's things you can do to try and save your money. But look into it. Make sure that you won't get into trouble with your energy company for doing it that way. I am pretty sure that you can do it with any energy company. You can cancel your direct debit and pay your bill however you want to. I don't think a direct debit is definitely a law thing that you have to do when you sign up to any company. I think it is a choice. Um, but a lot of companies obviously prefer it because then they know they're getting their money. But we need to look after ourselves at the minute, not these companies. And if you can do this and save money, then I will be really happy. I want you to all let me know in the comments what you're doing at the minute. Um, if you found this helpful, please let me know. If you've got any questions, please let me know. Um, always seek advice from professional people if you need it. Um, like I say, I'm not an expert. I'm just giving tips on what me and Rob are doing to help save money in our household, as a lot of people are doing at the moment, I know. Um, I've got friends that have started growing vegetables, um, all sorts of things. It's amazing. And I think if we can all help each other out here, it'll be great. So if you've enjoyed the video, let me know in the comments. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And um, if you want to support me further, buy me coffees in the description or you can send me super thanks. Like I said before, give anyone a shout out that does. I hope you're all good and I hope you found this. I hope you found this helpful. Um, give me a thumbs up in the comments if you've watched it to the end. And um, I'll speak to you soon. Take care, people. Massive hugs to you all. Thank you all for watching. Ta-ta.